obese patient uh, primary acl was done using the hamstring graft within 4 to 5 weeks the patient had a injury again and tore the acl graft so the patient now has again a tear of the reconstructed acl so dr sunny how would you approach this patient who has a re tear obese patient bmi more than 32 Uh, with a re-tear of her hamstring grafts, what will be your management protocol for uh, this person? Yeah. So first of all, uh, having a graft tear within four to five weeks of a primary ACL uh, itself shows that the patient is non-compliant, or he would have inadvertently done uh, something which he should not have done, uh, either uh, any sports activity or it may be a mistakenly an accidental slip and fall also. So I would like to go more into the details of the history. So obese patient more than thirty-five BMI. having a graft failure 5 weeks back uh, <clears throat> i'll be skeptical to uh, redo it again uh, so i'll reanalyze him find out his factors uh, the cortical function i'll rehab him to for a while uh, at least for next 2 3 months understand his symptoms uh, recheck for his instability symptoms and uh, if if he really comes with a symptomatic instability for more like 3 months down the line uh, then i would go in and uh, do a revision acl for him uh uh with a proper okay. understanding do his uh scanogram and under identify the bony anatomy as well